This is Radio X and I'm Gordon Smart and I'm throwing my cards on the floor. Let's start again. This is Radio X and I'm Gordon Smart, joined by Noel Gallagher, the little menace from Little Venice. <laughs> All right. That's my Morgan, isn't it? It certainly is. I've got to pay him 50 quid for that. <laughs> now, Noel, the sun's shining, the tour's flying, um, we're in the Watford Coliseum and Manchester City are Centurions. Life's pretty good, isn't it? Um, I thought the question was going to be why. Um, <laughs> uh, Life is pretty good, yeah. yeah. Life is good, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good on uh, yesterday, and uh, yeah, it's been all been going great. Yeah, Starting to catch up with me now a little bit, though. I'm feeling a little bit knackered today. Well, you've got some holiday lined up, haven't you? Uh, yeah, we've got a few. Actually, we've got a couple of weeks off after this today, and then, but like. I think four months now on the road is starting. To, we're getting into that bit now where it's just like, okay, I need a bit of time off yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah how, how, is, how is it measured up this tour? Because, um, you know, you've got 11 people on the road with you now. Mm. And the dynamic's different, isn't it? Well, the dynamic, well, it's great. i got to say, vibe-wise, it's the best tour I've ever been, been on. The last two tours I've done with my group, which was with the U2 thing and this, have been just a privilege to be on. I can't overstate that enough. Mm -hmm. The vibe is just amazing um, and the gigs have been for us have been great I mean I don't, I don't really read reviews so there was a quite a disturbing review that everybody insisted that I read in the Guardian and it was disturbing because it was fucking good which is kind of like <laughs> which makes me want to retire really but apart from that well, I don't really read the reviews but apparently it's been going down pretty well anyway and we've loved it I like the French influence can we talk about the French influence I, they're fucking exhausting mate to be <laughs> honest right if I had my time again you know the French is, well they've not been on strike once on this tour which is which is, <laughs> is unusual for when you get a couple of French people <laughs> but the girls are great YC is uh, she's a lovely girl and a great singer and it's very exotic looking and she adds a bit of she adds a bit of something to it yeah. that we didn't otherwise have and the other fella Charlotte <laughs> is uh, is well she's fucking far out it's man. Charlotte's high flying birds isn't it uh, well I've she'd like to think it is yeah. yeah she does behave like the Queen of Sheba at most points but she's far out man tell you what, what watching the soundtrack and listening, listening to the sound check beforehand you can really hear the influence she has on the music though you, know, you can really pick it up you know you can, you can feel her <laughs> she's got no influence on it, <laughs> but you can, you can actually pick it up because there's a lot of talk about can you really notice the percussion but she really does play her part in it doesn't she yeah she gets stuck in you know what I mean yeah, yeah. she was kind of she only, was only on board to do like one song and then yeah she's kind of made herself uh, indispensable at the minute which is what I love about her um, but she's great she's great fun to be with she's like like I say she's far, she's like no one else I've ever met but she's yeah. far out man how would you rate this one out of 10 you know if, if you had to sort of give it a tear up rating has it been quite a while yeah. after the gigs well because you two I, set a bar pretty high didn't it that well time. nothing's going to ever compete with that hey. that's just crazy she's fucking they're oh, that's that's like another league, another league. But um, we've had some good nights. We've had some good. I'm still carrying injury from the Wembley gig. <laughs> what nearly, did you do? I, I, I think no one's quite sure, but I think I fell up the stairs. It's and, the only way uh, to fall. Oh, fall. Yeah. <laughs> and I've, I've got to go for an, uh, for a scan tomorrow on my wrist because yeah. it's not cleared up. I think it's badly sprained. Right. But that was that was a pretty big one. But they've all been of a certain level. Yeah, they've all been good. Everybody in the band. Mm -hmm is uh, they're not shy of getting stuck in so it can yeah, yeah. be kind of some fun yeah. tell me a little bit about this venue as well the Watford Coliseum because it's got a little bit of history for you as well, well isn't I it? think Oasis played here can you remember when well I'm going to say 16 years ago and I know that because some guy asked me to sign his ticket right. which was I got this 16 years ago yeah. Um, so yeah 16 years ago which doesn't seem that long actually um, I'm not sure whether I've ever played it with with, mm. with with the birds, but um, it's a funny old gaff, Watford, yeah. isn't it? It's, it's got a great history of this place. Has it really? Like, I don't know. Do you know, no, the Star Wars soundtrack was recorded in here in the seventies. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. No, I did not. So That's all of that with John Williams was done in here. But no you can way. the acoustics are amazing in here. I think I don't know. I'll be, on, I'll be on stage with me on in my own little bubble, <laughs> so I don't know. But um, yeah. I think we had a good night. When Oasis played here, I think we yeah, had. A, yeah. I think we had. A, I think that might have been for radio as well. I think mm -hmm. it was good though. Somebody told me that you have never missed a soundtrack in your entire career. Is that correct? No, I've never. No, uh, only when I've a couple of times I've had to pull gigs and mm -hmm. then yeah, no, no. There's no excuse for not sound checking. You owe it to the you owe it to the people who've bought tickets. I think yeah. to at least give it a, give it a go. But I, I like sound checking. Yeah, it's interesting to watch. You did a lot about seven songs there, something like that. We do songs we don't do in the set. Right. We, like some of those songs that we played there, we won't do in the set tonight. And um, 
Yeah, we just had to change it up a bit. I'm actually thinking whether we should play those songs tonight or not. I might drop that on the band in a minute, see what they say. Um, but yeah, I do like sound checking. I used to really love sound checking when we was in Oasis. That was just because we we like we would have some long kind of um, freeform jamming, man, uh, which, which 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 used to be good. But um, this is this is great. Yeah. Oh yeah. What was the pre gig ritual like for the, the high flying birds um, as opposed to Oasis? Uh, mine now is what? So it's five. Now I would be eating. Uh, I would be eating in catering and then depending on if I have a tour bus or not if I have a tour bus I, after that I'd probably go on the tour bus and listen to the radio maybe or put the telly on mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, today we're just going to sit here and eat pizza I think mm-hmm. and uh, wait for the gig to start I yeah. um, don't really have I, get, I start to get in the mood about an hour before I've got a little acoustic guitar in a room and I pretend to warm up. I don't usually <laughs> do much warming up. Warming up usually means having a drink and noodling around on an acoustic yeah, yeah. guitar for a bit. Best tour story so far then, Nona. Every time I see you when you come back from tour, there's always there's one to share. What's, what's safe for our ears today? Without getting anybody famous in trouble. <laughs> No, see, this that. is always this is no, I can't do that. This is always the thing, really. He's always trying to, you're always bound to get people in trouble. Vincent Company turning up with all the Man City backroom staff, yeah, was pretty good in Manchester. And him saying to Manny, if you don't remember who Manny is, it's understandable because <laughs> nobody remembers who he is. Uh, saying to Manny that, uh, it was never too late for him to change back to being a blue because it's where he came from in the first place. Oh, brilliant. Now, Noel, tonight in Manchester, uh, Manchester City are celebrating oh. with an open top bus. Did you not get the invitation for that one? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't. I was, seen. I was, you know, I might have pulled a sicky here, but <laughs> couldn't do it. Um, yeah, I've missed most of it this season, actually. Yeah. I've seen quite a few games, but I've missed the big ones. Um, but it's been mind-blowing. I don't, I don't really think anybody will be able to really understand what's gone on this year for yeah. a long time yeah I mean on Sunday when Jesus scored the goal I celebrated that more than when we did when we won the league yeah, yeah. it was just such an amazing thing and um, you know for for Pep to have pulled it off the way he did is so yeah. it's, it's incredible it's incredible. great to incredible. see him celebrating that way wasn't it he's like a small boy he was like because he celebrates yeah. like a fan which is well, it's, it's the funny thing about some footballers is is when you see them, they don't they don't really want to talk about football. They're not really mm. interested. Pep, on the other hand, will talk to you about it. You know about what he thinks is going to happen and what. You know, and he's he's like amazing. And he's he's been in dressing rooms with us and some of some of the uh, other people in the band are unfortunately Liverpool supporters. <laughs> and um, you know he's kind of he's he's you know he's shot the shit with him and all that so he's he's a dude man he's, yeah, he's a proper dude I know yeah. he's a dude yeah. there's a massive interest in the World Cup this year with all the City players so you've got De Bruyne Jesus Aguero Sterling mm-hmm. how will you decide your loyalties I'm going to put I think I'm going to I'm going to put a Belgian flag <laughs> over the Matthew McConaughey life-size cardboard cutout that we've got in the front in the front room window and the bedroom uh, <laughs> no we've got actually two of the big red balloons from Wembley in the bedroom at yeah. the minute um, I think I think I'm going to go for Belgium, but as you know well, our in-house bucky over there is <laughs> will will tell you exactly who's going to win, yeah. who's going to score the winner, what size fucking shoes he's wearing, <laughs> what his date of birth is, and he'll get about yeah. six hundred and fifty thousand to one. He'll put fifty pence on yeah. him and end up buying a fucking house in the Seychelles somewhere. Now you've helped me out a lot over the years, helped low-income families with some incredible generosity. <laughs> but um, the ultimate thing you get every four years is an invitation from Adidas to the World Cup final. Yeah, uh, I realise it's Scully's front of the queue at the moment, right? But can't go this year. Though. I think can, we're, you can't we're, go. No, we're working. Oh. We're working. Um, I'm not. I don't know whether we're working on the fi- on the on the day of the final. Um, but um, yeah, we're working. But yeah, my friends at Adidas always tip it up for the final, which is uh, <laughs> good. Yeah, it's good for me anyway. Have you not just said that you're taking the tickets and somebody might just turn up and pick them up? No, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. <laughs> if I'm not going, no one's going. No, no, no. no. Could you ever That's be persuaded to do a World Cup song? No. Right. I've got a couple of things knocking about that could be turned into Man City songs, but um, yeah. yeah, no, no, I'm not really. I don't, I don't really like international football. Yeah. 
you know, if Ireland were to get there or Scotland, I'd support them or I'd, I'd you know, but I don't really, not really an England fan, although I do hope they do well. And, and but I'm, I'm not, I know, I, I don't really take much notice of it until it gets to the quarterfinals. Yeah, yeah. But I think it'll be a good one this time. I think I really fancy Your Belgium. Prediction? Belgium? I fancy Belgium, yeah. I always have a bet on them. They always let me down. Well, they've got to go. Well, they used to say that about Portugal, didn't they? Yeah. And they've won a trophy, so uh, maybe yeah. it's their time, I don't know. No, no, Arctic Monkeys have got a new album out. Um, the, the premise of the album is a uh, retirement home for rock stars on the moon. Mm. Do you fancy it? Would you go there? To, to the Alex moon? Turner's Rockstar Hotel on the Moon no no what do you make of the album do you know what I've just been listening to it in the car today on the way here Um, and I don't know what to make of it because remember everyone said when your album came out the latest album it was really experimental a bit different you know off the beaten track from what you might expect from Noel I mean Uh, it's not really what you would expect from Arctic Monkeys no you'd expect a few choruses <laughs> right there isn't any of them <laughs> <laughs> no no bad, but um, anyway tonight on the show we do a classic album chat every Monday night we do right. tonight's What's the Story Morning Glory oh is it could you just cast your mind Again. back yeah 23 years and sum that up for us just wow what was the first thing that, that comes to mind when you think uh, well it took 12 days to record 12 working days and really what effectively what that album is is a bunch of demos that were, ma- that were made into a record because we ended the sessions ended in a huge row about the fucking weight of cardboard or something <laughs> I don't know who knows um, what that album became we were, we weren't in a I certainly wasn't thinking of when I was writing that album it was going to be huge and I don't think we were thinking while we were recording it what it was going to become it's just another record it's just our second record we didn't really pay it any other mind than that when I wrote Wonderwall and heard it back I thought that's yeah, alright and don't look back in anger I thought yeah, I'll sound good live if anything it was just a moment in time that none of us were aware of you know um, I don't particularly think it's a great sounding record I think the songs have stood the test of time though live you know what I mean like Champagne Supernova and Morning Glory and uh, I can't remember what else is on it some might say and roll with it they were all great live songs but it, it is fascinating that it always gets voted in the top two albums of all time yeah. um, or the top five or whatever it is but I don't know we, were, we weren't really in the studio that long to yeah. I didn't really I don't know it's just, I, honestly they sound like demos to me now yeah. if I hear Don't Look Back in Anger on the radio or um if I listen to Radio X for more than 15 minutes I could play about <laughs> we'd six, be in trouble without you know play really. about six of the songs it's just Foo Fighters um, yeah if I ever need to refresh my memory I'll just put Radio X on and uh, my entire back catalogue will be played within under two yeah. hours um, Peace for the West Wing uh, well I should tell you mate um, <laughs> no no you've one of your many houses round the corner I believe um, all back to years after I have sold it mate oh, I can't believe you sold there's it there's a recession on the Vernon K come in with a big check uh, no we <laughs> just got rid of it uh, why did we get rid of it don't know we'd had enough gonna find somewhere else I think so where next where's the next sprawling castle with a moat I don't know I don't know we're happy in London at the minute I don't think we're gonna move anywhere yeah um I don't know I'd like a house in North Korea I think. <laughs> Well, you're not, you're not going to get any kind of passing visitors. I know, yeah. No one's going to do the popping, are they? You know what I mean? <laughs> no, thanks very much. Good luck tonight. No worries, man. Cheers, man. Radio X.